Hey friends, Shelly here and welcome back to my channel. Y'all, today I'm going to be sharing my Make 9 challenge for 2024. So, being completely honest, I only really wrapped my head around the challenge and what it was supposed to be. I think I'm pretty sure I saw a few posts about it last year, but didn't really understand it, so I kind of kept it moving. Plus, I think it's one of those things that, you know, people charge hard with in the beginning of the year and then it kind of falls off, so you forget about it, especially as a new sewist like me. But this year, I've seen the boards, and now that I have a lot more sewists on my social media feeds, I see a lot of boards. Plus, shout out to my girl Rochelle at Rochelle Handmade Designs for agreeing to be everybody's accountability partner. And I don't think she knew she was going to be accountable. I, you know, I don't even know how many people it is at this point, but it's a lot. So the way I selected my nine items for the Make Nine Challenge, I wanted to go with skills or garment types that I wear and want in my wardrobe versus just saying, okay, these are the nine patterns that I'm going to make this year. Because I feel like in a 12 month period, if you plan well, obviously, you can really get a lot done. In my last video, I recapped my 2023 where I spent six months away and garments alone, I was able to make 10. That's not including the six bags as well as the robe I made for my son. So I know with proper planning this year, I can definitely knock out all nine of those plus. So as I was putting together my Make 9, I definitely took my goals into consideration. I only have five goals, but the way it works is all of it should work together and I should be able to accomplish all things in 2024. So first, let's talk about my goals. And I have my notes here, so I won't forget anything. All right, so first up on my goals list is the amount of things I want to sew this year. And I came up with 24, two things a month, and that's for me and my family because all of them have a request this year. Every single one, my husband and all three of the kids, they have something that they want made this year, which I'm fine with because that will help me reach my goal. So out of the 24 makes, my goal is 20 garments, clothes items, and then four bags that I want to make for myself. And that is not including commission bags and things like that I'll be doing for others, which is one reason why two things a month is my goal because that gives me the time and space I need to still be able to create, run my bag business and, you know, do that with no issues. And y'all, I actually only have four goals. I initially said it was five, but it's definitely only four. And so goal number two is to branch out from the big five, Y'all know we love a good pattern sale, that $1.99, you cannot beat it. However, there are so many other pattern companies out here with some bomb designs that I want to try this year. So I at least want to make one of those garments a Vicky Souls garment or a True Bias garment. And mostly because those are two companies that I'm kind of familiar with, though I've never bought any of their patterns. I've seen a lot of other sewers in the community use their patterns patterns make garments and look absolutely stunning <laughs> all right so goal number three is a funny one I put finish five five projects from 2023 that's a lot but the number of unfinished projects I have from 2023 is kind of alarming I'm not going to publish that number just know it's a lot so my goal is to finish five of them so the last goal on my list is a tough one, but I'm going to do my darndest to accomplish this goal. The goal is only buy fabric when I have a project in mind that I am going to use right then and there. So y'all, I might need y'all to say a prayer for me. I'm definitely, that's going to be tough, but I am going to try because at this point I got fabric spilling out of three different rooms in my house. It's all over the place. So those are my goals. 
So let's get into my Make Nine list for 2024. All right, so when I created my Make Nine, it was in no particular order. So I'm kind of just gonna go in the order of the squares. And I do have some of the patterns here. If I've already figured out what pattern I'm going to use to make the item on the list. And I will be sharing that with you. First up on the list is a wool coat. You guys, I love a wool coat. Despite the fact that I hate cold weather and I live in Texas, I own, th no, I actually only have two wool coats because I recently gave one to my daughter because it doesn't fit me like it used to. So I pass it on because it is a really nice one. So I want to make another one in a color that is not black or whites because those are the the two colors that i had in my three coats so i want to make a few color wool coats for when i do travel you know i gotta look cute but i bought this wool this past december when i was in atlanta from fine fabrics i believe is the name of the store and the pattern that i want to use to make it is this one here Nomi 2001 I think most of us have probably bought this pattern because the coat is absolutely stunning so that would be make one and I really do want to make this soon with me traveling I don't know I'm, I'm, I'll get around to it I will get around to it I've actually already cut it is I just need to to sew it but anyway that is make one next up on my list is denim I wear jeans most days I've never made a pair of jeans they just seem to be very intimidating so I want to make them I also want to make a jean jacket I don't have the pattern here but the shacket pattern that I used last year simplicity 9388 I believe is the name of the pattern I really want to make that in denim so I guess those are two things within this square so I guess this is a make 10 list but I really want to make some jeans and I also want to make a shacket in denim all right, next up is a bodysuit. And I shared this pattern last year in one of my pattern hauls. I really love this, all the views here. Um, and I don't have a lot of bodysuits in my wardrobe. I have a lot of fitted shirts that I have to tuck in. So I figure adding a or a few bodysuits would be perfect. Alright y'all, sorry about that. I had to stop and change my camera battery because they die so fast. But jumping back into my Make 9, next up is cargo pants. Y'all, I love cargo pants. I probably own three pair that I rotate very often. So I want to make my own. I have been looking at the Kichi B Styles know me pattern i don't recall it but i'll put it right here as the cargo pants i want to make i have the pattern i just don't know where i put it and the pattern pieces are actually already cut out y'all my daughter to make a few extra dollars she cuts out my patterns for me so she cut that one out for me i just really have to narrow down what type of fabric I want to use. I've debated on using like a twill or a denim, definitely leaning toward the denim, but as I've already stated earlier, I've never made anything with denim or jeans, done a zipper or anything like that. I don't think this pattern calls for a zipper, but obviously it's definitely um, a lot of pieces. I forget how many pieces it was. So as soon as I narrow that down, I'm going to get started on these cargo pants. All right, next is a blazer. I feel like a blazer is really self-explanatory. I do have a few blazers in my wardrobe. I have one that I go to when I need a blazer, but I always find myself looking for a blazer. Most times I will just end up wearing like a cardigan or a sweater, but I would really like a nice form-fitting blazer so once I find fabric for that and a pattern I have a lot of blazer patterns 
but I probably have like eight and they're all different styles. So I really just gotta figure out, okay, hey, where do I wanna start and what do I see mainly myself wearing? And then we will work on that. Next is a coordinating set. I wear a lot of coordinating sets. I have on a coordinating set right now in this this Nike jumpsuit. So I just wanna make one for myself. I. I did pull out this pattern, which is Simplicity 9610. I really just like this. I'm not a fan of, I don't know if these would be considered culottes or high water pants. I'm not a fan of those. I'm 5'1". I don't need any pants that's going to cut me off and make me look shorter than I already am. But I'm thinking of doing this top semi-cropped with a skirt. So that might be my coordinating set or I have an idea for like a velour just button down top with pants. So still in the thought process on that one. Haven't completely narrowed that one down all right next up tweed actually I'll just say tweed and cutaroy because I've never dealt with any one of those fabrics I actually bought some cutaroy last year from or it might have been the year before at this point but I got some from Joanne they still have it in stock and for the cutaway, I was thinking a jumpsuit. Y'all, I have this pattern. It is a vintage pattern. It is Simplicity 7310. Hopefully you can see it. And the Simplicity actually very recently reprinted this pattern. I believe it's Simplicity 9900. I have the pattern somewhere. I probably spent 20 minutes looking for it before recording this video. I don't know where it is but I know I have it and I will put a picture up here just so you guys can see it and jog your memory but I'm thinking that in a corduroy would be really really pretty as far as the tweed I haven't even thought that far into a pattern for that but I would definitely like maybe a two-piece outfit or a jacket if I don't have time for the two-piece but I'm thinking a two-piece but which pattern I haven't got that far yet and lastly but not least is a two-piece suit like an actual form-fitting blazer with pants I know Erica Bunker just released her pattern with Nomi and it's this really cute blazer with cutouts on the side I'm thinking that might be a really good option for this two-piece suit but I got a little time. I want to start on the wool coat first since I have the fabric and the pattern and then maybe a bodysuit. I was hoping to get around to making the denim in the first quarter. I was hoping to get around to it in January actually since January is January but with me headed out to school here in a few hours um, I just don't know if I'll be able to do that in this month. So. I don't know we'll see I do know that wool coat will be the first thing on my list I think I'm gonna pack it and take it with me y'all so stay tuned for that if you are participating in this challenge be sure to let me know in the comments I would love to see your boards if you're still here and haven't subscribed please consider subscribing so you can be in tune and see all of my makes throughout 2024 and that completes this video. Happy sewing, y'all.